Michael's Kitchen. We got an interesting one today. I'm calling it a smoked Mississippi pot roast. Quick backstory to this. Last weekend, it was last weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Last weekend we had our friends visiting from Orlando and we made some killer Cubans. We'll have to do that one of these days. And I, I threw this on since the smoker was on already. I threw this on real quick. And as I was making it, David was like, uh, oh, that's it? And I said, yeah, yeah, you just got to wait till the end because it all comes together. And he was like, uh, are you serious? And anyways, I got the acorn Kamado griller outside. I've got the lump charcoal going. I've got uh, some soaked apple chunks. It's probably going to go in the smoker for about two, three hours. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for it to stabilize at 275 degrees, and I'll throw it on out there. So what do I have to put this together? Here we go. I got a two pound chuck roast that I'm gonna season up with some Texas smoked, Texas brisket Weber seasoning. And then when it comes out of the, out of the smoker, I'm gonna put it into the pot, pot roast, and put a package of ranch dressing seasoning, a package of our jus, and a stick of cold butter. And I'll put that in the oven for two hours at 275. And then when it comes out, I've got my rolls I'm going to slice up, and I've got a brick of smoked Gouda cheese. So I'm going to make a little Mississippi po' boy, a little Louisiana po' boy. So I'm going to take my chuck pot roast, and I prefer the Angus if you can find it. I'll take the chuck pot roast out of the package, and I'll put it into my container here. That said, I got this Weber Texas brisket, which I use for beef brisket for um, a beef ribs when I put it in the smoker. So I'm gonna do a light dusting of this on the top. And then I will do, using one hand again, <laughs> I will do the garlic powder. And that's interesting because I'm not a lefty. Then I will toss with my dirty hand or my contaminated hand and do the same thing The other side. Once completed on that side, <laughs> I will lift up and get the edge of the meat with what fell off on the in the bowl. And I do see one or two bare spots, so I'll go ahead and get that on there. And that's ready to go in the smoker. I got my Kamado acorn griller equalizing. I got a pan of water in the bottom. You'll see here when I open it up. I've got apple chunks that I soaked for 30 minutes to get uh, wet so that they would last the entire smoke. And we're hovering around 300, which is okay because I'm going to put this uh, piece of meat that's going to drop the temperature and hopefully come back to 275. I'll keep my eye on it for the first hour. The goal is to be around 275. That's the goal, 275 for two hours. Here we go. As you guys can see, I've got the water pan on the bottom. I'm going to try to get, keep the meat nice and moist. And I'm going to grab the meat and put it on the top rack. You can hear that sizzling already. And I'm going to close. And again, that's going for, what I say, baby? Two hours. You are listening. 275. Look at the temperature. It's, it's hovering around 300, but with that piece of meat, it's going to come back down, hopefully. And we'll check back here in about an hour. Got 30 minutes going. And as I told you, it's come down at 250. The smoke is just coming out and it's just going. So we'll check this in again in 30 minutes and see where the temperature's at and check the meat. We're gonna check the hour. So it's hovering at 250, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. I've, I've already adjusted on the acorn the bottom to see if I can get it to come up to 25, but I also know that when I open this to check on it, I'm gonna check on it. When I open this to check on it, it's gonna cause the air to go to the fire and raise the raise, raise the degrees here. So here we are. We're just going to check the meat at the hour mark. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's toasty. Mm. Look at the water. Looks the good. water pan is, uh, is already almost down. And look, still got smoke color on it. Season is still on it. So, And looks it good. smells even mm -hmm. better than it looks. There's a saying that says, if you're looking, you're not cooking. But I want it to look. Now I can cook. <laughs> Exciting times. Two hours. I've been patiently waiting for this moment. And here we go. So take a look. <gasps> That's what you call bark. 
but important, look at the water. That's why I put the water in there so the meat wouldn't get dried out. That looks good. Now, off he comes. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good. Now that's just the first part. Now we're gonna go finish it off in the kitchen. Back inside, we've got our smoked pot roast. Now we're gonna make it Mississippi pot roast. So here we go. First things first, roast goes into my pot. To that, I will add one stick of butter that I've had at room temperature this entire time. Then I'm gonna add one package of the aju seasoning to the roast. And I will add one package of ranch seasoning to the roast. Last but not least, I'm gonna add five pepperoncinos to the roast. Got all my ingredients in here. The goal of this is the butter's gonna melt and the, the, the beef is gonna let out some more juice and I'm gonna make a gravy on the bottom of there. So our smoked pot roast has been in the oven for two hours. Let's see how it's doing. I did check it one hour and took out all the pepperoncinos because some of the family here doesn't like it too spicy. So I did split, slice them up and I'll put those on top of mine because I do like spicy. So I did one hour with just a kind of juice in there. Let's check out what we got. And out she comes. Let's see how it looks. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is just looking phenomenal. Now let's see how juicy and tender it is. And out he comes. Oh, it's just tender. It's actually falling apart. Not, for sure. Not sure if you can see that. He's beyond fork tender. Look at that. Now that I've got the meat on the plate, I'm going to take all that delicious gravy. As I might put the juice sauce in there, the ranch, and of course all the, the smoked meat. And then I'm going to tempt this with a little foil. Until I get my sandwich ready because I'm making little poor boy sandwiches. Now I'm going to get my bread ready. As you guys saw on our French dip video, I cut it in half and got a lot of flack for it on TikTok. But I like doing it. So I'm going to put some mayo on this bread. I'm not sure if you can see that, babe. Can you see that? Mm hmm. Look at that. Don't be cheap. <laughs> Don't be cheap, she says. And then I will give it a nice little spread of that mayonnaise. And I prefer the mayonnaise to butter because it just, it just does a little mm to it. I will be sure to spread it and toast it in my cast iron skillet. Again, we're just looking for a nice little toasting. So it's been on here for about a minute. I'll go ahead and take that off. And that's why I use the Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So he goes there and then I will take a slice of smoked provolone and I'll put it in there and now we're ready to start shredding meat and here's the meat as you guys saw I rested it for a few minutes and this is just fork I don't know if you guys can see that just fork tender <laughs> it actually came out oh David if you were here it's just soaking up all the juices that were on there oh sorry Mm -hmm. He was here last week when we, when we did a little test run of this, and he did not get this good a version. <laughs> Meat shred, and it's time to build. So, put that to the side for now. Grab my toasted bread with my smoked provolone. I'll take some of this beautiful beef and put that on there. I'll put that on top. You know, that's, is that enough for you, babe? Mm-hmm. And then I, I told you guys earlier I'm going to do some smoked Gouda. And I got some smoked Gouda on here. And then, of course, it wouldn't be Mississippi if we didn't have a little bit of pepperoncinos on there. <laughs> this is good. And there you have it, my friends. Smoked Mississippi pot roast pole. Let's see what it looks like.
I'm gonna cut this in half so you guys can see the cross section of what we have going on here. Because I still have gravy here. <laughs> no point in wasting good gravy. <laughs> oh, can you see that? That looks good. What, is it party in your mouth again? I mean, I have the ranch dressing, the al jus, the pepperoncinos, the smoked provolone, the smoked gouda, the smoked pot roast with that brisket rub. I mean, it's just, it's just really, really, really good. <laughs> I almost want to get someone else to taste it because you're not going to believe me. You're not going to believe this is that good. Can I get someone else? Oh. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Come here. Guys, this was so good. And I think people think, oh, he's saying it's good because he's recording the videos. No, no, this is really that good. So I'm going to grab one spoon of gravy. And I should have been fancy and put that in, a, in a, like a gravy boat. But this has come out just better than... Anything that I have expected, Mark. There you go. Take that. Take, that's your. That's your half. And I took the peppers out of his because he does not like any peppers. We'll take a bite. Take a bite. Eat. Take a bite of the good side over here too with the juice. Well, Mark. <laughs> Be honest, because people think I'm lying. Not for real. <laughs> Did you think that was exactly good when I, when I called you over here? No, he knew it was going to be good, but he didn't know that it was going to be that good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. You can take it with you. You can go back to play your game. <laughs> Guys, take it from me. Try this recipe. That said, don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment down below with any particular recipes you guys wanted to try. Subscribe for more. That said, I went the end.